red carpet premiere line and this is Miss Olivia in the color SR4 slash sandy blonde which is really a gorgeous ash blonde which I am loving an ash blonde all the time um so yeah I have a review either up or coming up on her today I wanted to talk about like the YouTubers that I watch I feel like it's important as YouTubers that we support each other um so I was going to do a couple different car blogs on this topic. And so today I want to share, um, like, I'll do one on the beauty YouTubers and I'll do one on wig YouTubers, but I want to share today the beauty YouTubers that I watch the most. And you know what? No, let's do the true crime and reality TV ones because I, I need to update my beauty YouTuber list. Um, so if you haven't watched some of my other car vlogs, I have a degree in behaviorism. I was initially going to go into forensics and be a profiler. Um, turns out I don't really have the stomach for that. I think I have the mind for it, but I don't have the stomach in terms of actually being face to face with people who have murdered or finding murderers or any of that. So I went a different direction. But I do watch a lot of true crime, and I'll link all the channels below. So some of the channels that I love, and I'm not ranking them in any order uh, for true crime, is I like um, Danielle Holland. I think it's Danielle. I don't think it's Danielle. I think it's Danielle Holland. I really love her channel. I've been with her for a very long time. I've watched her channel grow. She's super in-depth, super uh, research-based, so I love her. I watch a lot of BuzzFeed Unsolved. Um, I really like that show. My son and I watch it. Um, he's a Shaniac. I'm a Bugara. If you watch it, you'll know what I'm talking about, and if you don't, um, then you should watch it, and then you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, some other true crime YouTubers that I watch, um, sometimes I watch Criminally Listed. Um, I also, who else? Stephanie Harlow. Oh, she's my fave. She's my fave fave. I don't want to rank them, but like as soon as she uploads a video, and she does a lot of like coffee and crime time, like where she, it's more like this style, you know, she's drinking coffee in her, in her living room, like we're just talking. I love that. I love Eleanor Neal. Um, she is from Great Britain, I believe. Um, and I really love her. Um, I watch Gabalicious here and there. She's like a wig. She wears a lot of wigs, which I love. Um, and she likes a lot of like vintage crimes, like a lot of like vintage crimes surrounding sort of that rise of Hollywood era. So I really love that. She puts a really cute spin on that. Um, I think also, I like Caitlin Rose. She does like other stuff like lifestyle but, uh, blog. She's in school for psychology. So she does a lot of true crime. Plus she'll talk about, you know, some of the more famous like psychological experiments, um, experiments gone wrong. So um, she's also from the UK and she just, she's just kind of chill. So I'd like to listen to her. Um, and I feel like, the other ones that I've been watching lately as far as true crime, those are really the, the only ones. I will occasionally watch Amber Loves Mystery. Um, sometimes I go through a phase where I watch her and sometimes I just don't. And then there's also Georgia Harris, which I watch. Is it Georgia Harris? Because I watched another person named Georgia. It's Georgia Marie. Georgia Harris is one of the... Um, beauty YouTubers that I watched, but Georgia Marie, she also, she's going to be similar to like Caitlin Rose in that it's very factual. It's very, you know, there's not a lot of her own opinions and stuff. And I really like that. Um, but yeah, as far as like true crime YouTubers and true crime channels, that's what I watch most. If you watch true crime on YouTube, 
um, you know, go ahead and put down like your favorite channels. I also used to watch all the time. It was like odds and obsolete or obsolete oddities. And Avery and I loved that one. Um, but he kept getting demonetized. So he, most of his content is over on Patreon, which I'm not on. Um, and he uploads, he still uploads to YouTube, but his style of video if you haven't checked him out go to uh, obsolete oddity i'll link it down below and like seriously the just the editing style he uses is very interesting it's engaging and i just absolutely love it so um those would be ones that i would start with if you're looking for true crime youtube i also watch a lot of reality tv like commentary youtubes um and sometimes I just watch the commentary YouTuber and I don't actually watch the show. My, you know, my favorite is Funky Don Eva. And I just love, he like really breaks it down. The nice thing is like he's, he lived in Atlanta, he's from Miami. So he's really, he's actually friends with and knows a lot of the people that are in like the Real Housewives franchises and things. And he is in production. So he really gives you like more of a background behind the scenes like he'll call it out when he's like this is a fake scene so it's kind of nice I do like that and he's just hilarious um I also been watching um Sasaholic Avery and I love Sasaholic he's like a young Asian kid he's in college or high school maybe um and he really likes to follow like the 90 day fiance he calls it 90 day fiasco and he just his editing style is crazy it's very entertaining um so and i started watching him when he had like a thousand subscribers and like a week or i think it was like a week or a month later he had like 40 something thousand now he's just blown up um so if you if you just want something like just to giggle at and laugh at he's definitely one that I would suggest. I also like the Grace Report. Um, she is a Canadian YouTuber. She covers a lot of the MTV shows, especially uh, the Teen Mom franchises. And she's very blunt and she calls people out and I really like that. And then there's, I think it's Cheryl's World. I just started watching her and I, I really, really like her. Her videos are shorter and she'll just do like snippets of different things. And not only does she cover the actual reality TV show, but she follows them like on Instagram and Twitter and stuff. I'm not Twitter, I don't Twitter, okay? And my Instagram is just where I communicate about like wigs and that stuff. I don't, I don't communicate like that on Instagram. I don't want any of that. So I'm not following drama on there. Um, so I really like that part of it that she's bringing in that stuff and just commentary and she's super like, she's super sarcastic and dry and the way she edits her videos, she'll say like this dry comment and she's like, okay. And then she'll let it sit for a second and then she'll cut to something else. It's almost like, I think she's, I think she's almost like genius in that because it's almost like, Hey, catch up. And she just throws shade like you don't even realize she's throwing it until she cuts to a pause in her video and you're like, oh yeah, that was supposed to be a joke. Um, so yeah, those are the true crime and also the reality TV sort of commentary channels that I've been watching lately. If you watch any re reality TV like commentary channels, put those down below. Um, oh, I also been watching DJ Ricky. I'll put all these channels down below. So check them out, give them some love. And if you have any that you wanna share with us, like go ahead and do that. Um, you know, and I'll come back with some other YouTubers that I'm watching in other genres, um, especially wigs. So I would be interested to hear like what other wig reviewers you watch and maybe you'd be interested to know which wig reviewers I watch on a regular basis. So that was just a fun little car vlog and I hope you're having a super fabulous day. I want to see you in my next video. I just want it. So you just go ahead and subscribe. You just hit the bell because I just want it. I'm, I'm asking you to subscribe because I want you here. I want to chat with you. I want to talk with you. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.